Howdy, y'all. Um, I just got back from Virginia, and I have waiting here for me a package um, and also a, another package. Two packages came yesterday. Now, <clears throat> this package I was waiting for and totally expecting and following the tracking on, and it said it was going to come yesterday, and it did. Uh, this... I'm not going to open today, though. This is from one of our beloved YouTube pipe community pipe makers. Uh, this is something that I have purchased. Some of you out there already know what this is. Uh, but I'm going to be saving this until Thursday because Thursday I will be celebrating uh, one year on YouTube. So uh, this is going to be uh, for that special occasion. I'm going to wait and open it Thursday. Today, however... I have a box that I totally was not expecting. Um, I don't know what's in here. I did not know this was coming. Uh, and in fact, this person right here, that is the redneck professor. Um, I haven't spoken to him that much uh, very recently, so I have no idea why this is here or what this is about. So we're going to have to open up and take a look inside and find out. John, what are you up to, mister? Let's take a look and find out. Before we do, though, I would like to show you guys today, uh, some of you have been interested in my, the bipod today is the jar of tampers and a little jar of early morning pipe. So that's where the camera is resting today, or my phone camera. You, you're doing housekeeping on your bipod? Yeah. Oh. Well, I've had people have, have commented on that they like the bipod, so I thought I'd show them what the... Usually it's that canister of spaghetti over there and another canister or a jar of tobacco or something. So today... housekeeping on your bipod? Yeah, housekeeping on the bipod. Today it's the jar of tampers. Look at... Here's my new uh, candy corn tamper I just got the other day from Greg. Uh, and a myriad of other tampers in there that I'm sure you guys recognize. And some Dunhill Early Morning Pipe. Okay. Open that thing. Carry on. One more thing I have to address for Mr. Jonathan Want, 1972. Uh, today I will be using a box cutter and not a tactical blade. Okay? He doesn't like seeing people using tactical blades to open boxes. So let's see what's inside. John... John, Redneck Professor John, sending boxes to my house, unannounced craziness. And he even, he even put on here, look, he even put on there. Yabo. This is Mr. Jonathan Wan, 1972, says the proper knife for the proper job, or the proper blade for the proper job. Oh my goodness, all right. You can tell just by looking at the back of this, this is a bit lengthy. Um, I think I may just go ahead and pause this for a second and save you guys the minutes on this video. I'll be right back. All right, now, having read this, um, apparently I got a box of goodies from his latest travels uh, in the former Soviet Union. So... Let's take a look and see what we've got. There is a pipe. Now, this, he says, is a handcrafted Ukrainian pipe, and it's notoriously horrible to smoke as it is a very hot smoker and also prone to getting tobacco clogs in the stem. Look at the inside of that bowl is like a uh, tin or aluminum or something. Very interesting. Cool. Well, thanks, John. I don't know if I should attempt to smoke this or... You know what? Is this... Uh, want to take apart anything that's not supposed to be taken apart. I'm going to fiddle around with this later. Alright, uh, next.
we've got a lighter. Um, clever remark about the city of Odessa written on it. This might not be the best lighter for lighting a pipe. He says, but instead of bitching about it, you could show a little gratitude. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's a lit. Wow. Okay, take a look at this. And something that I don't know what that says. Any of you out there fluent in Russian? <clears throat> but on the back, we've got this little diamondy thing, and the fluid, when you open it, lights up a nice bright green. <laughs> That's cool. Yes, this definitely would not be something you'd want to light a pipe with. However, a cigar, uh, a cigar maybe. So, very cool. I will hold on to this. Put that with uh, the cigars. Okay, also got some uh, packet of Holger Dansk original pipe mixture uh, so I can see how their government warning labels are written in that weird Stalinese gobbledygook, he says. Very interesting. And a smaller pouch of locally grown Ukrainian tobacco, which I'm told was smoked by the soldiers of the Red Army while they fought the Nazis during the Great Patriotic War. He says, of course, soldiers, uh, Soviet soldiers have plenty of time to sit around smoking since we Americans were handling all the ass-kicking. So that is this here. Nice. Very interesting. I will definitely give that a try. I don't know, should I put this in this and smoke it? I don't know. Very cool. Thanks, John. And... Uh, lastly, a packet of tobacco seeds so I can start growing my own pipe weed. He says, having helped my grandfather grow tobacco as a child, I could offer you some pointers on growing your own, the first of which would be, Google that shit and leave me the hell alone. So that's my Soviet gift package, and if I don't like it, he says, to hell with you. And that's it. There's my goodies from the former Soviet Union. Here, take a look here. Oh, that's upside down. Very cool. All right. Well, thanks, John. I appreciate that. That's very cool. And for the rest of you, thanks for watching and checking out my former Soviet Union gift pack from the Redneck Professor. And if you don't like it, to hell with you. <laughs>